Super Plus. Greetings and welcome to the Hills of Steel 1 Tank Breakdown series. I'm your host Andrew and welcome back to another video in this series. Over the last while we've taken a look at a number of tanks like Cobra and Siege. In this one we're going to take it something just a little bit different. Say hello to the Tesla. This electrifying tank brings a unique playstyle to the game, which we'll see in the gameplay soon. Of course, there are a number of skins that come with the tank. The gold, which is standard, the organic, and of course, lightning. Like most other tanks in the game, it comes with the ability to add boosters, standard ones like the circular saw, and napalm, as well as rapid reload. However, we're going to play it just as is without any boosters attached. Like all other tanks, you can also level it up via coins and cards collected through the chest. Doing so will help improve its stats like its armor, gun and engine, which as you can see at level 3 is quite reasonable. The unique shape and style of the Tesla makes it a very different experience from the traditional type tanks in the game. So let's see it in action. First up, let's go to our normal Midsummer Siege. Here, without any boosters, we're just going to be using the standard attack. In the Tesla, it has two different body parts, the front with the driver and the back part with the actual weapon. So of course, there's a little gap in between both sets of wheels which means that the positioning changes depending on whether you're on an uphill or downhill. The speed of the vehicle is quite fast considering its size. Its main attack is the Tesla electric cannon. This allows users to fire out a huge arc of lightning that will attack all nearby enemies in front of them. The attack will lock on as long as the canning is facing the right direction. This means that if you are traveling in a flat line, you can attack on to multiple enemies at once. This is very good, but that allows you to take down waves of enemies without ever worrying about which one you're attacking. There are of course some downsides to this. If you are not positioned correctly, the lightning bolt will fire above everything else and not actually attach to the tank that you can see. However, when positioned lower, you can attack three hills as the lightning will attach to the closest tank and do damage even if it is through the terrain. This actually makes it a very safe tank to play because the reach of the lightning, paired up with being able to sit behind the hills, means that you can play very safely and take down tanks from quite a range. You can see on screen that the lightning is not attaching to the tank because it is arcing too high. So, we need to wait for the tank to get into the right position before it'll actually attach and do damage. This also applies to when we're doing bosses. We can sit at a range or we can push right in and do a lot of damage with the lightning arc. Because of the Tesla being a little bit tankier, it means that we don't need to be afraid charging in either. As we charge through this map, you'll see where the Tesla really specializes in. We're about to come across a group of enemies, and with just a single attack, we're able to do damage to all of them at once. This is great for when wave clearing out a lot of tanks that are pushing you very quickly. A lot of destructive power in a short period of time. The only downside to this is that you must be careful because you will take a lot of damage in return. Switching things up, we now head to the jungle map. This will help show another advantage that the Tesla has. It can take down sky units very easily, as long as you're positioned correctly on the hill. This means that the Tesla is very strong in both air and land combat. An another interesting thing that you'll see is the arc. Although we are attacking the sky unit, it still manages to triangle down towards the land units as well. So it is not just on land units that the lightning will jump from tank to tank. 
it'll also apply to air units as well. So taking down multiple units in the air is also not a problem. As you attack with your Tesla cannon, you'll notice that the bar above the attack button goes down and then builds back up again once you're not attacking. However, you're able to attack without the meter being full. The interesting thing about Tesla is that there are very little downsides to this tank. You do a lot of damage, you can take a good number of hits and your speed is relatively good as well. The only thing to really take into consideration is how you're positioning so that your Tesla cannon will attach on to the closest tank. This makes Tesla one of the more easier tanks to play in the game, as it means you can run and gun quite easily. Both air and land units are no problem to deal with. You can also play at safety from behind hills, and the range of the attack is quite long as well. Even though its size and the speed is quite quick, this does not mean that the Tesla is unstable going across ground. Any type of terrain is easy enough to traverse across, so you don't usually find yourself stuck in a bad position. Also, the arcing from top to bottom for land and air units is also a great advantage. The only real thing to take into consideration is that you do position yourself correctly so that the lightning will attach on to the nearest enemy. If you're not positioned quite right, like on a steep hill, then the lightning is just going to fire either too high or if you're positioned downwards too low. You need to ensure that you are positioned correctly so that it will connect to at least one target. After that, it will then bounce to all remaining targets and do a lot of damage. So if you're looking for a tank that does a lot of AoE damage across multiple tanks so that you can charge quickly through maps, then the Tesla is the perfect tank to do so. But there's of course not just all these tanks to deal with, there's bosses as well. So to round things out, let's take a look at it in action in the boss mode. As we go into boss rush, the advantages of Tesla being able to attach and then arc on to different tanks will not apply because we are in a one-on-one -on -one situation. That doesn't mean, however, that the Tesla is weak. Based on the terrain, we're actually able to sit behind this hill and do a lot of damage to Thunderclap before he even actually gets close. This, however, changes depending on the tank that we're going to face off against. With certain tanks, like Armadillo and Thunderclap, that fire longer range bullets, we can take advantage of our long range and the fact that we can attach onto them without having to worry about aiming too much. This means that we're able to take down these bosses quite easily. From the safety of behind the hill, Armadillo goes down. Up next, however, we have Legion, a missile based tank that is able to attack quite close range as well as long range. But with the way that the Tesla is and the speed that we can actually move regardless of its size, we're able to move in close to do a lot of damage and then fall back to do more damage as well without ever worrying about Legion's missiles actually hitting us. So strategy and positioning is very key to Tesla when you're fighting these kinds of fights. Scourge, another one that we're able to take advantage of because of the way that his missiles fire off in the little grenade format, we can just get close, do a lot of damage, and never really be much threat to dying. Our biggest threat, however, is airborne units. Although we're able to use the terrain to our advantage and actually get the arc attached to the helicopter, unfortunately, it also means that we're exposed and we will take a lot of damage from these types of vehicles. Unfortunately, there's not really much that we can do about this. We can take helicopter down quite easily, but did lose a lot of health in the process. The same can be applied to Helibomber. Although we can get our lightning to attach and do a lot of damage, because we're not able to sort of hide behind terrain, it means that we will take damage eventually. So remember these things whenever you're playing Tesla. It has a lot of great advantages, but also has the odd disadvantage. It is still a great tank for charging through maps, doing a lot of damage to many, many tanks 
grouped up, as well as doing single target damage quite well. This concludes our tank breakdown for Tesla. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and our social medias to keep up to date with all the content. Until the next time, have fun and we will see you on the hills.